What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we have another WWE action figure set up for you guys and it is Royal Rumble Edition. So today's WWE action figure setup, guys, is Royal Rumble Edition. The pay-per-view is coming up on Sunday. I am super hyped for it. It is my favorite pay-per-view of the year, and the card looks absolutely incredible. Today we have the full arena, guys. Not only do we have the arena here, but we have the backstage as well. So we have a two-in-one. We're going to take you through the entire thing. I guess we'll start off on the backstage, and then we'll come all the way through until we complete the full arena. So let's go ahead and start in the backstage area. All right, guys, so we're going to start off in the corner over here. We have the bar, and they're sort of complaining and arguing right here. We got them arguing and complaining because they did lose their SmackDown Live tag titles. I think that they're going to lose those tag titles to Shane McMahon and The Miz on Sunday. I just think it's, you know, I don't necessarily agree with it, but um, I think it's something that's going to happen at the Royal Rumble. So that is the bar right there. We have our truth right here. You guys can see he is on this stretcher. He has a neck brace on. I think that he's going to get attacked during the num for the number 30 spot. I think either somebody's going to take his spot or he'll end up, you know, uh, going into the women's rumble or something. In this setup, though, he is getting injured and stretchered off. So uh, I guess you guys can see that later on in the setup video. Right here we have the United States champion Rusev. After he defeated Shinsuke Nakamura, he is just walking around big man on campus with his United States championship over his shoulder. Shoulder looking very good. We got Rusev. It is a happy Rusev day for him. Over here we have the man, Becky Lynch. I have her winning the Women's Royal Rumble. So she is walking around. She's she's feeling proud. She's ready to get after Asuka. And she is uh, just walking around the backstage area, trolling around. You know, she's the man. She does whatever she wants, and she's minding her business. So we have the man, Becky Lynch, right there. Cannot wait for her in the Rumble on Sunday. If we come to the middle of the setup, guys, you will see Daniel Bryan sort of getting in Vince McMahon's face. He's getting in his face because he's blaming him for his loss to AJ Styles. In this setup video, he did lose the WWE Championship. Championship to AJ Styles. The phenomenal AJ did take his WWE title and he's sort of, you know, getting in his face. Vince McMahon's trying to, you know, get away from him. The security guard trying to hold back Daniel Bryan there. And then we have Miss Alexa Bliss right there sort of complaining to Vince because she didn't win the Rumble. She's trying to get a good word in and, you know, tell him, you know, it's been a while since I've had a title around my waist. What's the, what's the big deal there? So that's what Alexa Bliss is doing in the middle. If we come over to this corner, we will see the other side of the coin. You know, we saw the bar earlier upset about their uh, championship loss. Well, over here, guys, we have the SmackDown Live Tag Team Champions, the new ones, with Shane McMahon and The Miz celebrating there. They're sort of clacking the titles together there. And they are happy, you know, I, again, I, I just don't see The Miz as a baby face. It just feels really forced and weird. But, you know, they're, they're celebrating here. I think they're going to put the tag titles on them. It's just something that seems right. And, uh, yeah, they're going to pull the trigger on it. So there is The Miz and Shane McMahon. Down here we have Sasha Banks. And Sasha Banks is sort of, you know, just thinking, going over thoughts in her head. You know, she's sort of just thinking, wondering what's going to happen now. She just lost to Ronda Rousey at the Royal Rumble. That's what I'm predicting here. So she's sort of upset with herself, just sort of chilling off to the side, you know, taking some time to herself and getting her thoughts together on everything like that. So Sasha Banks is sort of recovering from her title loss. We come behind Shane McMahon and The Miz, guys, and we have the new Universal Champion Finn Balor. He is beat up. He has his ribs taped up there, medical tape all over himself there because the demon Finn Balor did show up at the Rumble, and he conquered the Beast Incarnate. He conquered Brock Lesnar and won the Universal Championship, and he's just looking over what he accomplished there with his championship, with, you know, his injuries. He fought all the blood, sweat, and tears. And Finn Balor did win the Universal Championship here, just chilling out, you know, trying to rest after that epic clash with the Beast. Just chilling and collecting himself, you know, after that hard-fought victory over Brock Lesnar. And I hope this happens, guys. I'm going to be cheering my butt off again. Finn Balor, one of my favorite talents in the entire world. And I'm going to definitely, I'm not going in with any expectations. We're just going to have to see what happens. But I'm going to be cheering for my boy on Sunday. And that's pretty much it for Finn. On the other side of that coin, we do have Brock Lesnar here. And you guys can see he's carrying his toboggan. And he is going out the exit door. That is the exit door here. It's sort of a little bit of symbolism. I think he's going to drop the title to Finn Balor on Sunday. And then see you on to the UFC until we have his Mania match or something like that. So that's what I'm going with here. He is going to take some time off and come back maybe around Mania or maybe a few weeks, months, whatever the case. But he did drop the title, so he is going away. Also, we have Ronda Rousey right here. Got her bags packed. She has her Raw Women's Championship. She knows she's not even going to come close to losing this title until WrestleMania 35 in New York City. So what she's doing is just 
just, you know, leaving. She's got her bags packed, she's got her title, and she's feeling good about her match with Sasha. She did retain her championship. You know, it's a little brisk outside. Brock Lesnar doesn't have his jacket on, but Ronda's got her jacket on. She's ready to get the hell out of here. She does it. She's not needed. She got her paycheck. She won her title, retained it, and we're moving on. Over here, we have Charlotte Flair sort of collecting herself, pretty much like Sasha. I think they're in the same boat here. Um, she's pretty much just collecting herself over here like Sasha was because she lost the Women's Royal Rumble. She uh, did not win with Becky Lynch. She did not, you know, they didn't fall over the ropes at the same time. She did lose, so she's again collecting herself, trying to dust herself off and see how she can get back in the women's title picture on SmackDown Live. If we go a little bit to the left into the interview area, you guys will see we have the phenomenal AJ Styles with Corey Graves conducting an interview here. And, uh, you know, he's just telling him that uh, he, he conquered Daniel Bryan. He won back his championship. Corey Gray is, is giving, you know, his thoughts on it, asking AJ what's next for him, who does he think is going to be his challenger at WrestleMania, trying to figure out everything. But you guys will notice a detail in this is that his gloves are off. His gloves are off because he's already wrestled. Why does he need his gloves on? It's attention to detail here with the WWE action figure setups. So he did remove his gloves, switch his hands out, take his wristbands off, and you know, he's, he's chilling now. He's resting, and he wanted to take those sweaty gloves off. So that is that. And if we go across the arena, I don't know if you guys noticed this earlier, but we have his gloves right here with his elbow pad sort of chilling on this table. So AJ Styles is going to have to make his way back over here to pick up his gloves and his uh, elbow pad before he moves on and leaves this arena here tonight. But I thought that was a nice little Easter egg and a nice little detail there with his gloves off and the new WWE Champion. And just behind him, we have Asuka and Shinsuke Nakamura. And what this is is a line to get interviewed. So AJ's going first. Next up will be the SmackDown Live Women's Champion, Asuka. And she did defeat Becky Lynch earlier in the night. And then Becky Lynch entered herself into the Royal Rumble and won it. So that is sort of where that ties in. If you guys were wondering, I predict that she will lose to Asuka and then somehow get her way into the Rumble and win it. So that's what I'm going with. And she is happy because she beat Becky Lynch. And, uh, yeah, she's awaiting her next competitor. Next up, guys, we have Shinsuke Nakamura. Shinsuke is just down on himself, man. He lost to Rusev. He really has no spot on WWE TV. He lost his United States title to Rusev, and then he loses the rematch, and he's sort of just down on himself. So he is going to have an interview with Corey Graves, you know, wondering what is next. So this is the symbolism here. He's holding his head down. He doesn't know what to do. And that pretty much completes the backstage portion of this WWE action figure setup. So what we do, guys, is we go through the curtain and we enter into the arena right here. We go down the line here. Nice dynamic angles here through the crowd. And I guess we could start off first with Kofi Kingston. Kofi Kingston right here saved himself. You guys know how Kofi does every year. Always making a legitimate nice save here. He was getting thrown out by Drew McIntyre, but Drew McIntyre is just sort of amazed. He's like, what the hell? You're not thrown out? And he's, you know, just saving himself there. So Kofi Kingston doing a head slash handstand and keeping himself in the Royal Rumble match. If we come down this side, you guys will see from behind Dave Batista getting eliminated by Triple H. Triple H snuck up behind Batista. I did see where he he was cleared to train. He is back to training and working out, and I think he's going to show up on Sunday, guys. Again, he doesn't have to wrestle or be in the Rumble itself. All he has to do is sneak up behind, surprise entrant Batista, throw him over the top rope, and bam, we got a WrestleMania storyline right there. It ties in with Evolution and SmackDown 1000, and it would be a perfect time to bring Batista back and have ourselves a Triple H Batista WrestleMania 35 match. Just to the right, we have Rey Mysterio sort of trying to, uh, he was going to get powerbombed out of the ring by Bobby Lashley, but he's using his quickness and his reversibility here to try and Hurricane Rana and flip uh, Bobby Lashley out of the ring here. So he's sort of reversing that right there. I don't know what the result will be. Probably eliminate Bobby Trashley and Rey Mysterio is going to do that right there. That's sort of the beginning sequence of that. If we come right here, we have John Cena, my boy, giving an AA to Apollo Crews on the apron. Very dangerous of Cena, but, you know, he's, he's super Cena. He don't care. He's about to AA Apollo Crews. He's, he's going to hit his back on the apron and fall out and be eliminated. So uh, John Cena delivering that AA right there. Just behind him, we have Braun Strowman, and I think that uh, he is going to do this to Trash Corbin on Sunday. You know, loading him up over his shoulder and chunking him out. I suspect that he will get his revenge on Trash Corbin, and that will be taking place there at the Rumble for sure. If we go just under here, guys, you guys will see Samoa Joe. He is going to have a strong outing at the Royal Rumble, and he has the Coquina Clutch locked in on Big E. Big E sort of screaming there. 
As you guys can see, he is screaming for his life because Samoa Joe's got it locked in tightly. Gonna, you know, knock him out and then throw him over the top rope. So we have Samoa Joe there. Another submission move we got going on is Kurt Angle. Kurt Angle between these ropes is applying an ankle lock to Xavier Woods. I guess he didn't like his America tights. He didn't, He, you know, he wasn't fond of them. They're sort of matching in attire, but... He wasn't feeling it, so he put him in the ankle lock right there. I do kind of think that Kurt Angle could be a surprise entrant in the Rumble. I think that could totally happen. So we have Kurt Angle applying the ankle lock there. Just beyond that, we have Kevin Owens giving a powerbomb to C.N. Almas. I know i got to get used to saying Andrade, but Andrade, C.N. Almas. I like I like the C.N. Almas. I don't know why they got rid of it, but trying to powerbomb C.N. Almas out of the ring, and he's probably going to reverse it or something. I highly doubt they're going to treat C.N. Almas that way. He's been looking really good on SmackDown Live. And Kevin Owens is returning to this Rumble, and he's, you know, making his presence known here with a power bomb to see in Almas. If we go to the middle of the ring, guys, you guys will see a curb stomp from the man Seth Rollins burning it down and giving a huge curb stomp to Dean Ambrose right there in the center of the ring. I think that Rollins is going to win this Rumble. I think that that's what's going to take place on Sunday. Hopefully that happens. If it's not him, it's probably going to be McIntyre. So hopefully my boy Seth can get it done on Sunday at the Rumble. If we come over here, we got another elimination trying to take place. We got my boy Randy Orton trying to eliminate my boy Jeff Hardy. You know, they had their little rivalry before now, and I think that their paths will definitely cross when they enter the Royal Rumble on Sunday. It should be entertaining, and I wouldn't be shocked if Randy Orton eliminated Jeff Hardy. Maybe, uh, maybe Jeff Hardy can get his revenge on Randy Orton and eliminate him from... Sunday's contention. If we go just beyond Randy Orton, guys, we do have the returning Sami Zayn giving the returning Matt Hardy a big halluva kick in the corner. We know that Matt Hardy did say on social media that he feels better than ever. He's like in the best shape of his life, he did say, and uh, he did return to this Rumble. I think he could be a surprise entrant on Sunday, and I wouldn't be shocked for it. So he's getting a halluva kick here, so not in the best shape right now, but uh, he's going to have a decent little rumble. Right here we have Elias just jacking Jinder Mahal over the head with that guitar. I don't know how he got the guitar in the ring, but you know, it's probably going to play a play a role on Sunday. I wouldn't be shocked at all if we saw the guitar play a role. And he's busting Jinder Mahal over the head with that guitar, and it is all good. It'll either be the stool or the guitar. So I selected the guitar here, and he is getting busted over the head, Jinder Mahal. Don't expect him to, uh, you know, make a lot of noise in the Rumble, but I'm sure, I think he's already a confirmed entrant, and I, I expect him to get eliminated pretty quickly. And our last entering action, guys, is Adam Cole squaring off with Pete Dunne. I think that both of these men will be surprise entrants in the Royal Rumble on Sunday, and they are just having a little face-off right here. Not, no, not any action going on right here, just sort of a face-off, and they're ready to go. But that is not the complete setup, guys. If you guys have noticed, there is somebody on the entrance ramp and they are making their last, the last number to be called and the number 30 entrant into the Royal Rumble. I know that our truth is supposedly going to be the number 30 entry, but I don't think that's, that's true. I think that they're going to, you know, mix that up. Maybe somebody else will get that 30 spot. And that man is going to be Kenny Omega making his WWE debut in the Royal Rumble right here at number 30. Um, I have my custom white fantasy attire, Kenny Omega, there on the ramp. And he is looking good. I love that all-white attire. A lot of people hate it on it. I don't know why, but we have Kenny Omega making his presence known here at the Royal Rumble as the last entrant, and he's ready to go down here and possibly win the freaking thing. If Kenny Omega does end up showing up, which he probably won't, I, I know it's a really, really long shot, then I hope he wins it. If he ends up showing up, I think he should win it, and uh, he should go on to fight Finn Balor for the Universal title or AJ Styles at uh, WrestleMania 35. But that pretty much does it for our setup, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. We have the full arena all decked out. All the ring, all the arena, all the backstage area. Everything is set up for you guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. Are you guys looking forward to the Royal Rumble on Sunday? Please let me know down in the comment section below. Do you hope Kenny Omega shows up? Who do you have winning the both the men's and women's Royal Rumbles? If you guys want my full predictions and preview of the Royal Rumble on Sunday, please go watch my predictions from yesterday. We cover the entire card. I give you my full thoughts on every feud and every match moving forward but thank you guys for watching subscribe to the channel for more epic wwe figure videos like this and more follow me on instagram and twitter at my damn toys and i will see you guys in the next video thank you